Let's talk about Jonah Hill, who is trending on Twitter following uh, the publication of so-called abusive behavior by his ex-girlfriend, Sarah Brady, accusing the actor of emotional abuse. Uh, and, and I had a hard time finding all of the evidence because people are sometimes sharing one screenshot, sometime another. Uh, so I got everything I could find, and we're going to have a look through it. And this is the whole current trend of feminism, which seeks to define any sort of requirements by men to be uh, abusive. But it never happens when it's a female requirement. Notice you will never hear the feminist say, you know, when, you dis when a female dismiss a guy because he's too short, when she has a deal breaker uh, height at six foot, uh, at, at six feet, uh, no one will ever say this is abuse. But, but you're asking a man to change what he can't change. You're, uh, you're asking a man to change something he's born with. Uh, so how is this not abuse? Well, it's a female doing it. Now, if a male says, I have standards about who my girlfriend will be, and you can totally, you, you are free to not respect those standards, but then you're not going to be my girlfriend. Feminists want to frame this whole thing as extortion. Now, there is a very uh, special way in which you can understand the world where this is extortion, having standards. But the problem is that would also make you going to buy a Big Mac extortion. It would make uh, you trying to deal a car for a lower price extortion. It would, be, it, it would mean that the car salesman who says, well, you know, if you pay that much, I can't give you the AC on the car. You would be doing extortion also. If any standard to a consensual relationship cannot be negotiated through human speech, then uh, everything is extortion. Every single contract that were ever signed in the history of men. Jonah Hill's ex-girlfriend Sarah Brady accuses actor of emotional abuse. So here's the first uh, segment of private discussion happening in December 2021. Uh, Jonah Hill was saying, plain and simple, if you need surfing with men, boundaryless inappropriate friendships with men, modeling, to post pictures of yourself in a bathing suit, to post sexual pictures or friendships with women who are in unstable places and from your wild recent past beyond getting a lunch or coffee or something respectful, I am not the right partner for you. If these things bring you to a place of happiness, I support it and there will be no hard feelings. These are my boundaries for romantic partnership. My boundaries with you based on the ways these actions have hurt our trust. I know these words. And to anyone who, who takes this message in isolation and, and judges Jonah Hill based on this in isolation, as if he had dropped this message out of nowhere, you don't understand woman. This is the kind of message. Let's read again the end. This is so key. My boundaries with you based on the ways these actions have hurt our trust. This is a woman who has been again and again bragging to Jonah Hill that she was getting to spend the night taking drugs, drinking alcohol with other men and was spending the night with them. And perhaps she even said to him perhaps she even said to him that she fucked these other men that she had sex with them this is the result of jonah hill being subjected to emotional abuse and jealousy inducing behavior and manipulation and i'm a free female type of behavior you can't say anything about it for months and months and months 
And eventually the guy gets tired and lists it. Now, once you get to the point of the list like this, she's been doing it again and again. And you've been warning her. You said, this is bothering me. This is not proper behavior in our relationship. Would you like to leave? Would you like us to break up? Because if you want to break up, uh, we can. Uh, but I cannot accept this behavior. Are you willing to change this behavior? And again and again, she's had these psychotic, bipolar behavior toward him and this kind of manipulation of his inside to induce jealousy. And every time when they had this discussion, she would say to him, yes, okay, okay, oh, that bothers you? I'll fix it. Uh, I want to stay with you, Jonah Hill. I love you. I don't want us to break out. So you're saying that it's annoying when I do this? I'll stop doing it. And then she would go and do it again, which is why Jonah Hill now has to put it in writing and he has to, because basically he's in front of a brain that displays something, but that doesn't seem to integrate it and understand it. He's in front of, this person will tell me that she stops, but then she'll do it again three days later. Well, you are in front of the female brain, uh, a brain that is absolutely incapable of processing the idea of commitment, contracts, and honor, simply incapable. So the only thing that they can perceive, the female brain, is the proximal structure of the punishment reward structure of the world. So basically, like a rat in a maze, there's an electrical shock to the left, there's something good to the right, and that's what drives them. And the only way you'll get a female to act honorably or to follow what her male wants her to be is by having so much control over these punishment and rewards that she cannot effectively uh, get out to these nights where she takes drugs and betrays you. Now, once you acquire that, why do, feminists, why do feminists take issue with us acquiring that level of control? It's because they know that it's the only way to keep a female loyal. Females don't respect rings, marriages, contracts, promises, stated engagements. None of this. So the, fem the feminists are at the last stand of female loyalty they want to deprive Jonah Hill of his right to construct a structure, a maze of proper reward and incentive so that his female can act in the right way, the right way that will please him, the right way in which he will be content with this relationship. Anything else that is imposing a relationship that Jonah Hill is not content of is raping this man. It is making him believe that the state of relationship is A, when in fact it is B. And the B comes with a lot of trouble induced by this insane woman. So let's have a look at some of the other... Let's have a look at some of the other content to see what would it be that, it, that makes him so abusive. He made her take down this picture. Well, okay, here's a picture. Uh, Sarah Brady reviving a pic that I took down by request of a misogynist narcissist. So here's a picture where she shows the inside of her boob in front of cactuses. Uh, don't take this in isolation. In isolation, this picture could be a professional performance picture that she's entitled to pursue in a relationship where it's okay. And in a relationship where she's not driving uh, jealousy reactions intentionally into Jonah, Jonah Hill's head. But that's not the relationship we're in. It's not the relationship where, oh, I'm with this 25-year-old model and I fully accept that she's a model. And that will mean revealing a little bit and I'm fine with it. 
No, no, we are in a situation where this 25-year-old model is constantly going to get fucked by some other males, going on drug trips, uh, losing contact with Jonah Hill for days or weeks, and then coming back and inducing more jealousy in him by telling him the story of how much she's been on drugs and how she's been with other men. And asking him to accept this because I'm just part of surf, surfing culture. That, that's, that's her, her defense. It's surfing culture. I hang out with men. It's surfing culture. There's lots of men in the, in the surf business. Well, you are not a dedicated female. You are not reproductive material because your men won't even be able to know the babies inside of you if they're from him. Uh, what else do we have here? He's posting examples and he's saying these uh, these surf pictures, I want you to remove them from Instagram. Uh, he says, I respect however you want to live your life. You only get one. But I'm sort of done with explaining myself. So he's asking, "Can I respect, if you want to go on, you know, publishing these uh, bait, bait suit pictures on Instagram, you go, uh, you go on, but it will be without me. Now, is this exaggerated? We're talking about just really a bait suit picture. If you take the bait suit picture in isolation, it, it kind of sounds like he's an asshole. It's like, oh, well, a surfer in a bathing suit, it's not even particularly sexy. The resolution is not pretty high. It's a photo taken from far. It focuses more on the sports aspects of the surfing rather than the picture of her and her bathing suit. But I don't think that Jonah Hill was taking issue with the picture itself. He was taking issue with the fact that he was with a female who does everything in her power to make him jealous, who does everything in her power to send signals that she is not trustable. And at some point, when you're faced with someone not trustable, you have to impose arbitrary principles just to test if they're going to respect them. You know, if, if I'm stuck with someone who again and again, I've told her, stop taking drugs, stop hanging out with these guys, Stop this, that, and she keeps doing it. Well, you start by imposing arbitrary principles and testing her. Like, is she even capable of listening to me? Or do, is she so revolted in her inside? Does she have so much hate against men or whatever, against control, that she won't let me control anything? Well, that's what he did. And she answers here, three removed, but I haven't removed the video yet. It is my best surfing video. Would you feel better if the cover frame was different? Any more specific ones that bother you? He says, yes, one that isn't of your ass in a tongue. She says, it's not a tongue, but okay. So he was taking issue that she was uh, too displaying of her, of her reproductive organs. Of course, if you're Jonah Hill, you are a successful actor in Hollywood. Uh, you're kind of a good catch, you know, no matter uh, how ultimately ugly I find him. Uh, the fact is, when you, when you accept being fucked by Jonah Hill, uh, you should definitely be proud of this. And you've, you've grabbed a lot of money. You've grabbed a lot of potential. Um, it's okay for him to have a little slightly higher standards than the average male. Uh, <clears throat> Fix DSM says, them thought my standards were high, rolling on floor laughing. Uh, yeah, those are arbitrary requests, but they come in a context again. They come in a context where we'll see later, she was on drugs, she was hanging out with other guys, she was sleeping with other guys. So when it's in that context, I understand that the arbitrary request is really a, a way to try to set the woman back on track. It, it's like you go above board a little bit so that, uh, so that she just uh, sets herself on a path of, I'm just going to listen to my man. And if she can't do that, then you'll know. 
you know, it's it's kind of a test of the woman. Uh, Fenrir says, I can hear Jonah's mom saying, you should have married a nice Jewish girl like your cousin. Yeah, exactly. That That is certainly what's happening. We have uh, a, a Jewish man from a classical Hollywood background uh, coming in confrontation with the next generation, Sir Four, uh, who, who's not particularly beautiful, by the way. Uh, people were pointing out she's a seven at best. She's a six at best. I agree. She's a six. Uh, it's, it's like, let, let's look at her again. Uh, like, this is not worth, uh, you know, ruining your life over. This is not worth having injuring, uh, having to injure uh, someone being on drugs, someone playing with your emotions, someone now publishing your private conversation uh, as a way of vengeance. None of this is worth it. Uh, we have read this one. Uh, so she had deleted uh, some, and then he says, Good start. You don't seem to get it, but it's not my place to teach you. I've made my boundaries clear. You refuse to let go of some of them, and you've made that clear, and I hope it makes you happy. So that is Jonah Hill saying, Well, okay, well... There you are, you've deleted two of those that I re was requesting, and you can't even generalize my asking to you. My asking is, I don't want to see any of your side pussy on these pictures. And so he's like, I hope it makes you happy. I hope that holding on to that picture was so important to you that it's worth it for you to not get fucked by Jonah Hill because this is what you're going to get. You're not going to get fucked by Jonah Hill. <laughs> that is what he's saying. And it's totally fine. Totally fine. That is, look, I don't consent to our relationship if you don't consent to this. And it's not a way to extort her. It's a way to, this, this transaction is not interesting to me if you don't make these changes to the transaction. And if you don't make these changes to the transaction, since you haven't made these changes to the transaction, my answer is no, we're not together. That is absolutely fine. And never let the feminists win this one because they, they are trying to basically disarm negotiating power from males. Uh, he was asking about her uh, talking to her degenerate friends. Literally, uh, you just tell them hello and then you leave the convo. I love how your therapist thinks that I suck. I literally am the best boyfriend on earth. Uh, you're right. We can't do surf social things or develop trust until you consider me and make decisions that give re regard to our relationship. I have been vulnerable as possible and I am telling you I am needing you to step up to the plate, which you can, I'm sure of it. But these losers don't get your time if you want me. Straight up, it's consideration. I respect your love of surfing, but I respect myself as well. And your love of surfing and being in those situations and lack of awareness are not mutually exclusive. This isn't me. I have my own issues that I own. If you want marriage and family, you can't use the 25 card. So she was saying, I'm just 25. Isn't it normal for a 25-year-old to hang out with all these surfer dudes? No, it's not. It's normal for a 25-year-old to be pregnant of her third child, staying by the side of her husband so that she can give birth. If you want, to, if you want marriage and family, you can't use the 25 card. Uh, step up and cut shit. These people don't get your time or your kindness at the sacrifice of minds. That is absolutely fine. Uh, you know, I keep being absolutely stunned whenever I date these young women and they're not willing to deprive themselves of their social circles for the new husband that they've acquired. 
I'm willing to deprive them. I, uh, I'm not going to go see a female friend of mine under any circumstance once I am with a woman. I'm not going to, and I have female friends, uh, you know, if I hang out in pretty much any city of Canada or the U.S., there would certainly be persons that, that come from my past that I could, hey, I could send them an email and check if they're there. Hey, I'm going to go see uh, this girl or this girl or that girl. And I'm not going to do this if I'm in a marriage, if I'm in a girlfriend, with a girlfriend. Why? Because I consider that it would be uh, teasing. It would be provocating a reaction of jealousy for the person that's most important to me in exchange for someone who, who doesn't matter at all. If there's not going to be sex with this friend female of mine, what is the purpose of me being with them? No purpose. So I have to invest all of my time in family relationship that is caring for my wife. And then we have a network of friends with other children so that our children meet their children. But I'm not going to these network of friends alone. I'm bringing my wife with me so that it can be publicly seen. Look, this is not uh, me trying to charm this other woman. It's just me trying to get the children to have a social network. The fact that we have to explain this and the, the, this, early, this early period of the relationship where women are very much attached to some social network, very often a bunch of degenerate, homeless, fucking retard trolls, uh, whores, their parents, <clears throat> their fat their fat uh, nurse friend, their fat government employee friend, their disgusting feminist communist friend. And the fact that they need to keep contact with all of those are extremely uh, red flags. They are extreme red flags. If they're not willing to say, hey, I got Jonah Hill, this is pretty much the best uh, I'm going to score because I'm just a, a, a mindless surf whore on Instagram. Jonah Hill is pretty much the top of the top I'm going to score. So anything going forward that I do in my life is satisfied Jonah Hill. Just, just massage his balls. Just, just Jonah Hill's balls and penis is kind of the... The, uh, the great thing in the sky, the, the only concern of my life. If you can't do this, uh, then he has no reason to be interested in you because now you're attached to your network of friends. Why? Because you want to stay on the market? Because you want to be with these guys of the surfing? Because you want to keep these side sex relationships <clears throat> that make you feel like you have value in life? But you should feel from the, uh, from the uh, sole fact that Jonah Hill is going out with you, that you have made it, that you don't need these things anymore. Uh, Go Away says, JF's internalized Jewish supremacy is showing up right now. <laughs> I was kidding. But, but that's what she should do. That, I, I wouldn't message the bowels of Jonah Hill, but she should. Uh, take some accountability and operate with respect. That's simple. It's that simple. Because I'm tired of your attitude towards surf culture, that contest and that, and that place because I deserve respect, period. Oh, by the way, one other red flag about this woman. A woman who has a therapist at 25, that's not a therapist. That's a communist ped for friend. And this therapist's job will be to detach that woman from you. Oh, you know, he's controlling. She's going to insert all these Marxist priors in her head that are just meant to break the relationship. Therapists forget it. There are no more therapists that are into uh, keeping relationships together. You know, there was this classical marriage counselor type of people. They don't exist anymore. The new generation, even of those who call themselves marriage counselor, forget it. 
they are people who are there to exploit first the money and the time of this girl. And they will see the every possible idea in her head that the male you're with is not the right male. He's been too controlling. How do you feel about this control? Wouldn't you want to have a little space for you? Isn't he imposing too much requirements on you? Rodita said, says, Jeff, they were talking exactly about this on Fresh and Fit with Nick too. The girls were saying that it's okay for those girls to go to the nightclub and drink, but those girls wouldn't like their men also go to a nightclub. Those girls know what the guy goes there for, yet they don't see the inequality. I know, and I've been dismissing of this part of the podcast, but that's because I had more important things to talk about uh, in this podcast. So Jonah Hill continues, I have been more than patient, and then shit like this is still here. Fuck that contest, fuck that place, and fuck not respecting me. Always, in every situation, within surf culture, or you don't get it. And you don't get me. It's hurtful and unacceptable to me. Get it? I don't know if you get it, or care, or give a shit about that shit more than me, even after... Dr. Stern has said it loud and clear. Dr. Stern is the couple's therapist we were seeing once a week for about four months. <clears throat> Forget about couple therapist. Uh, if she needs a therapist, it's already over. Uh, so yes, uh, having reviewed all of this, there is nothing in there that is abusive. Uh, it's all a reaction to a surf whore. And surf whores just aren't marriage material because they have convinced themselves that they were in this very special place with basically a, a bunch of homeless males. And it's because they're homeless, they spend so much time on the beach that eventually they get to start surfing. And now they convince themselves that they are part of a culture. and. and it's not a failure of life to be just on a on a on a plank trying to take a passive wave coming from the sea. It's actually a culture and it's a thing and it's associated with drug taking and relaxed life and eating coconuts from nature. Uh, that is, it's just this is an example of Jonah Hill should have known a little sooner that this girl wasn't marriage material and he shouldn't even have bothered because he spent months trying to text her about improving her behavior and sometimes you're just in that mood as a man i mean i've been picking up just low level street crack whores and trying to improve their life and i have too many ex in many times i have succeeded <clears throat> and, and sometimes you're so perfectionist about you, about it that you're willing to even take a couple of hits along the way and you're willing that you're, you're basically your benefactor action toward them uh, be spit on and, and eventually even put you at risk of being exposed for being too controlling. But see, in this whole conversation about too controlling, no one, no one is asking her to explain about what were you doing with these other surf dudes? What were you doing uh, when you were taking these, these sexy pictures? Because if I'm Jonah Hill, I'm a Jew of Hollywood. I know exactly what's happening in these picture sessions. I know exactly that when you come back to me and say, oh, I met this excellent photographer and oh my God, he's taking so much artsy pictures and oh, look, that's his portfolio. I know exactly what happened. He was taking these pictures. He was sending you these sexy messages. Oh, you're sexy, my beauty. Oh, 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 you're sexy. Oh, show me that ass, baby. And then eventually he fucked you. That's what happened. And no one in this whole conversation is talking about the fact that this woman was fucking other men while being on drugs and surfing. But there are, oh, Jonah Hill is controlling. Well, I wish we had a little more control, a little more Jonah Hill in the, not more Jewish actors in Hollywood. We have enough of those, but more men like Jonah Hill in the private sphere. 
uh, men like Jonah Hill who would simply direct females toward the right behavior, but they don't want to be directed anymore because they will frame everything you have to, to tell them to improve them as controlling. Well, you go ahead and live your free life, but it's going to be without the Jonah Hill Plaza. Uh, 